Hello everyone, Larry Satchwell here again. I haven't posted a project in quite a while. Actually, I've been working on Christmas presents. Yep, it's September and I'm trying to get ahead of it. In the past, I've often had glue drying, paint drying, varnish drying, something on Christmas Eve, and I want to get ahead of it this year, but I'm not going to show any of those videos until after the fact. So those videos are going to stay private for quite a while. No, and today's going to be a little fix it of garden art. Yep. This is an old mule plow. I'm so glad I didn't have to work behind this. I was driving home from a track meet several years ago and they were just putting this out on the curb. And I thought, oh man, that would really make a good ornament for the lawn. And it sat out in the lawn for, uh, sat out in the flower bed here for about, I've uh, probably had it eight or nine years. And the handles finally rotted off. I've had these handles so long, I don't even recall where I got them. That's a long time. But I think I can modify these handles. This plow blade is broken. And they put out this plow blade at the same time. If you just imagine the farmer, I'm going to say gentleman because at that time it probably was, broke this plow and thought, man, I need to fix it. And like a lot of us, never got around to it. Well, this project I've put off for a couple of three years. And I'm hoping I can do this in about an hour. We'll see. Stay tuned. Now, I'm not trying to restore this plow so I can use it. Do I want to put this plow blade on here or just put handles on it? I'm going to go for the plow blade. Sounds like a lot more fun. The only thing holding the partial blade on here is this bolt. And it doesn't look like I'm going to be able to back that out. <laughs> I'm just saying. I'm going to try to knock it off first with a cold chisel. Let's give it a shot. That looks like it was made for this. All right, let me go see if I can find some rusty bolts. Turns out I have no shortage of old rusty bolts. Uh, there are ways of aging these, and if I don't find the exactly right one, the best way to do it is to burn this. Uh, most of these have a zinc coating on them. It's just to burn the zinc off. Well, that wasn't easy. That took quite a while, and I did something radical for me. Uh, the ones I couldn't get a screw in, I actually threw away. Can you believe it? That worked. Yeah. Dang. All right. need a bigger hammer. Uh, that does look a lot better than that broken one. I'm glad I did that. I will burn those uh, the heads of those bolts you know, in a few minutes here and uh, those will rust right up in no time. All right I need to get some handles. I can't just take this to the table saw and rip it through because of this curved handle and that's certainly part of the charm of this old handle so I don't want to do that. All right this is not a fine piece of furniture. No minor joints are going to be involved. 
Uh, I just spent the last several minutes trying to find some more bolts and nuts that matched. I'm very proud of myself. I threw away like a half a dozen bolts and a couple of misthreaded nuts that I've been keeping for years. So we're making progress there. Uh, this is a hard piece of oak and a little bit of a uh, dull drill. Uh. Oh, that was quite a trip. Well, what happened there was that uh, this is balanced and when I put this piece of oak on here, it unbalanced it. And so the whole thing went that way while I was trying to figure out where this piece goes. <laughs> All right. Well, let's get this in the garden. Off of that oak, I'm literally going to mix up, mix up some mud. Well, I'm sweaty, muddy, it's just the way I like it. When I picked this off the road, this little plaque was on there. It says, bloom where you're planted. I'm going to wire it back on here, and I hope you bloom where you're planted. Until next time, thanks for watching.